but so what I have here in my hand uh, is the Nokia 808 uh, pure view camera with 41 megapixel gauss size sensor, uh, sensor and gauss size optics. And uh, these are a few of the images we have captured during the uh, few weeks. And quite naturally, uh, one of the benefits of having sensor that big, big is of course the massive resolution that you're gonna get out. Uh, let me show you a few of the images we have captured. For example, this is one of my favorite images. Uh, it's, a, it's an image, this one we captured in Africa. We were uh, climbing there last week. And if I zoom into this climber, um, that's quite wow. impressive. Uh, but that's amazing. Now that's at full 38 megapixel resolution? Yes, that's a full 30. Actually, this is a 34 megapixel that's because a wide it's, a, it's Yes, exactly, it's a wide format. So that's the benefit of having a lot of pixels. And the recording options are 38, 34, 8, 5, and 2? Two. Two? Yes. Okay. And, but that's, that's only one of the benefits, having a big sensor. Another benefit uh, is that because we have so many pixels, we have lots of uh, things, lots of really cool things we can do with those pixels. Uh, this image, for example, is captured in Rio de Janeiro during the carnivals, and this is a 5 megapixel image. But when you capture 5 megapixel images with this device, it actually records the whole uh, 38 megapixels and uses intelligent algorithms and scales that down to 5 megapixels. And what that gives you is a low light performance like that. So this is a midnight image. Uh, I use manual ISO of 800 for this image and the guy is actually dancing. He's not posing. He's it's not a good motion stop even in darkness because you have you know, 5, 6 pixels per pixel in the 7, 5 megapixels. 7 pixels. Seven, right. Uh, yeah. You can see the noise performance. Now that was ISO 800 and you said the range actually goes from 50 to 1600. 1600 right. Uh, but with 1600 ISO this situation started already to overexpose. And as I told, guys dancing, he's not posing. Correct. That's amazing. Uh, Let's take a look at the camera itself and um, some of the video capture options you have. Sure. Um, so now let's put that on video mode. So as explained, um, this one is using a full HD video okay, capture. So that's 1080p, 1080p resolution. 1080p. Right. Uh, you have options for 720 and, and 360p. Uh, you have uh, options for 30 frames per second, 25 frames per second, and especially for movie industry and and uh, mode, right? See, uh, exactly the a uh, lot as 24 frames per now, second. Even at 1080p, you have a uh, 4x zoom options, right? Yes. Uh, so let me demonstrate that to you. So this is now in full HD mode, and because we have so many much pixels, uh, that's the zoom you will get. And you can still see it's very, very sharp. It, uh, it's lossless zoom, so we haven't touched the resolution. Actually, with this device, uh, normally what you do in video mode when you zoom in, you actually upscale the image. Right. This, one does, this doesn't let you do that. Right. No interpolation. No. If you are if you are zoom if you are using uh, 1080p and when I zoom fully in, that's still 1080p right. native 1080p. Now can you do the same thing in uh, still photos? Yes, you can. Uh, for still photos, uh, the zoom works in 5 megapixel mode uh, up until four times. Uh, oh, uh, sorry, three times. Uh, this is now recording 5 megapixel images, and if I do that. That's still 5 megapixel image. Right, it's, so it's not still lossless. It's still lossless, yes. Right. It's not upscaled 2 megapixels. It's 5 megapixels. Yeah, fantastic. Can you give us a quick uh, look at the hardware itself, the external controls and the, the body? Yes. Um, one cool feature we have introduced for this phone uh, for the first time is the video light. Uh, so if I hit recording here and I turn the phone, you can actually see right. super bright LED uh, good for, for video filming in low light. But also, in addition to that, we have xenon flash. Real xenon flash for real, still. Real xenon flash for still. Uh, most powerful, actually, that we have ever put to phone so far. It's twice as powerful as our last flagship model N8. Right. Uh, gives mind-blowing uh, low light performance. In addition to that, um, standard stuff HDMI output. It, it's in micro HDMI. Micro. Uh, USB. micro USB, three and a half millimeter headphone jack. Yes. Um, but one thing I haven't yet talked about uh, is uh, our completely read and audio recording, and that is 
amazing. Uh, we call this uh, a rich recording uh, audio and it allows you to record uh, sound up until 140 decibels without breaking it down. Oh. So you can take this to a concert, record you some real take, video. You can take this into concert, record mind-blowing low-light video and actually hear what you're doing. Uh, I bet YouTube community will go mental with this one. Right. Okay, let's take a look at the, the side controls on it. We've got, got a, a lock button, lock button, volume, camera shutter. Vol uh, yeah, camera shutter, volumes. Uh, microphone in the bottom. Yeah, clean stuff. Uh, microphones at the, here on the other side records uh, stereo sound with the rich recording uh, setting. And uh, Dolby, uh, Dolby Digital Plus output as well? Uh, yeah, we, for audio I would recommend you to go to our audio stand, they can, they can go through, uh, walk you through to the audio. But uh, that's also, if the camera is uh, phenomenal, I would say the audio right. matches that. Okay, so that's Nokia's 808 Pure View at Mobile World Congress. I'm Michael Oral from MobileBurn.com.